We've heard a lot about Advil and ibuprofen this week because the French Minister of Health, French Health Minister, um, mentioned in an address that people with COVID-19, this is a quote from him, and I will explain where this comes from in a moment. Um, He's warned that people with confirmed cases should avoid anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen or cortisone and recommends that you use uh, acetaminophen or Tylenol um, instead. So this claim um, stems from a letter that was published in The Lancet, which is a journal, um, that proposed the theory that these drugs boost production of a receptor on cells called ACE2, ACE2, which has been found to be the same receptor that the SARS-CoV-2 virus uses to infect cells. So that is the receptor that the virus itself plugs into, so to say, and uses this as an entry point into the cell. So based on this letter, which is not backed by formalized studies at this point, um, the theory is that these drugs boost production of that receptor and then would make it so that with more receptors available, the virus could more easily infect cells is the theory. There is not clinical or um, culture data to back up these claims at this point. So the WHO has come out and said that they um, cannot recommend against the use of ibuprofen at this time. for treating people with COVID-19. There's just not enough data. We can't say whether it has a positive or a negative effect because we simply don't know yet. Um, So before you throw out all your ibuprofen, know that take all of what's being said right now with an enormous grain of salt. Um, There is, of course, with mild disease, if it induces a fever, If you have a low fever, that's a sign of the immune system, you know, coming into action and fighting off an illness. So when you have a low fever, generally it's recommended that you not pound anti-fever medication anyway, because that's a sign of the body um, fighting off the illness. Now, if you have a severe pneumonia, using anti-fever medication is pretty common within healthcare settings because you don't want that fever to run out of control because at that point, um, it is no longer helpful to you. So there are different purposes, appropriate uses of anti-fever medication. Um, And clinically, doctors prefer um, ibuprofen or Tylenol or their equivalent formulations kind of on a case-by-case basis. So medical professionals know what they're doing on this front. Um, And there simply isn't evidence connecting fever reducers to severe, more severe cases of COVID-19 at this point. Um, That'll be something that clearly we're paying attention to. And people will probably now pursue studies if they're not already underway at a more mechanistic level. So we can see if number one, if there is a boost in receptors, that does not automatically mean that there will be more infected cells and more copies of the virus made. So we don't know that for sure yet. And we also don't know if the sheer number of viral copies present in the body is directly correlated to severe disease. So clearly if the virus is replicating the body, um, that's a sign that you're infected actively. But we don't, it depends on where those viral loads are concentrated. And this is information we're now gathering now that we have more people with the virus that we can study actively. So this claim by the French health minister has raised a lot of questions that are currently under investigation. So don't panic about ibuprofen is my main takeaway from the story.